Hello guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Bharti and today's video is uh, not going to be my regular mukbang video. Today I'm going to talk about uh, horoscopes, love and compatibility and before I start, uh, let me put a disclaimer out there that I'm in no way or form an astrologer and horoscope is just my ho hobby and uh, ever since I was a little girl, I've been into horoscopes and I have been reading a lot of materials but whatever I say it's not coming from an expert point of view so um, please keep keep that in mind so let's get started so let's start with the first sign of the zodiac that is Aries uh, Aries they are also called as a child of the zodiac since they are the first in line and just like a child uh, if you're if you have your moon in Aries or your sun in Aries or your rising in Aries uh, you are very impulsive very competitive very fiery and yeah like Aries they just like to compete they're very warrior like you know everything they everything that comes your way they take it as a challenge so an Aries in love they will compete for your attention they like to compete so they'll compete for your attention and they also like to get what they want so they might pursue you till they get you and the most compatible signs with Aries are I would say the other fire signs Leo and Sagittarius uh, because they are all like same element so they are more compatible and also the air signs like Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. Let's talk about Taurus the second sign in the zodiac. Um, Taurus they are fixed earth sign so you can expect them to be very practical and very hardworking and very realistic uh, they don't live in the imaginary world at the same time they are a, not a little bit they are very materialistic which is not necessarily a bad thing but it's a very prominent trait in Taurus people they love material things and if you want to impress a Taurus you can get them food or like if it's a Taurus girl you can get the you can get her uh, get her accessories or makeup maybe they love it and the best match for Taurus are the other uh, earth signs like Capricorn and Virgo. Uh, they also go well with the water signs like uh, Scorpio but I would, I would say that the best match is uh, probably Scorpio. Let's talk about Gemini which also happens to be one of my favorite signs uh, in the zodiac. Gemini they have this twin personality to them so on one side you'll see them being very quick witted very lively, you know, excellent communicators and very flirtatious around people, around, uh, in front of the opposite gender and on the other side you'll see them like, you know, they also tend to dwell in the dark space sometimes. They'll be like, suddenly they'll be depressed or they're not feeling well. So they're, they're, they're always, you know, going back and forth between these two personalities. Uh, the best match for Gemini, I would say Libra or a Leo, Aquarius. They make awesome friends and also they are very compatible for relationships. Uh, I think the dyna dy dynamic between uh, a, a Gemini and a Libra is like very interesting because even the Libra, like Libras, they're like very flirty and so a Gemini and a Libra, they really get each other. Cancer, they are very sensitive people, uh, sensitive and loving and caring and therefore like no one can love you like a Cancer will and if you are taking a Cancer for granted then it's your problem because uh, they give their everything in a relationship I would say and the best match for Cancer is Pisces, uh, another water sign, and Scorpio. Scorpio, Cancer, uh, Cancer, Pisces, they make a very good match, uh, really good love pair. So that was all for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this, just like I enjoyed making it. Uh, you can watch my other videos right here. and. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my content and do let me know in the comment section if I should make uh, more Zodiac related videos. Bye bye. Take care.